It's simple to do, but you gotta put the time in. Perfect balance with your lower body, endless consistency, perfect control, power, snap, acceleration of velocity. All of these amazing things that you wanna bring as attributes into your double bass playing, it really only comes from one simple exercise plan. I know there's tons of guys out there now giving all these different double bass classes, but I can tell you honestly, as a young kid taking drum lessons from an amazing drum teacher so many years ago, when I started going to double bass, he gave me one exercise, single stroke, 16th notes on your kick drums. Now, whether you have two kick drums or a double bass pedal, you wanna make sure you have a nice centered setup on these pedals. Obviously, with two kick drums, you're already in a position physically where your body is going to be more centered and more balanced with the two kick drums. If you have a double bass pedal, this can get a little more tricky. If we don't take the time to analyze how that double pedal gets laid out, it won't emulate the same physical layout as say having two kick drums. So be careful with a double pedal and make sure, as you can see in this picture here, I used a 22 inch ride cymbal to just emulate what would look like a second kick drum. I've taught many students who had double pedals and their alternate pedal was completely out of whack with what would make sense for a second kick drum. So make sure that you're setting it up. If you look at the photo here, you can see how there's a nice triangular shape between my drum throne and the two pedals. Now, once that's done, this is all we're doing. We're doing 16th note, single stroke rolls, but we're doing it intentfully. If we truly want to harness the most powerful double bass, the most consistent, the most controlled, and the most impactful double bass hits, you have to isolate your feet and take your upper body out of the equation. As we develop an independence for our lower body to just play consistently and in control by itself, it will slowly free up our upper body to do what it has to do. So, 10 minutes, 110 BPMs, from there, take a quick second to regroup, move it up to 120 BPMs, and do five minutes. After that, take a few seconds, reset, move it up to 130 BPMs, and do three minutes. When that's done, you take a small break, 10 seconds, 20 seconds at most, then you move it up to 140 BPMs at a minute and a half. Then 150 BPMs at 45 seconds, and then finally 160 BPMs at 30 seconds. Now, if you as a double bass player are still in a stage where you don't have 160 BPMs in you, that's perfectly fine. This is a progressive exercise, so we're gaining speed as we build up strength and balance and control and consistency. We don't wanna play flimsy or out of whack or out of time if it's too fast for us. That's not what this exercise is about. It's a goal setting exercise. So if at the start it's all about playing 110 BPMs for one minute straight, because that's all you can do, that's the starting point. Ultimately, it's all about the feet only, no upper body. Just controlling and learning how to really balance your body and your mind, because you can get really hypnotized by this as well. So be careful to stay focused on that tempo, stay in that groove. If you get a little hiccupy and you get a little glitchy, don't worry about it, don't stop. Just keep going, find your way back into the groove and into the flow and keep it rolling along. It's an exercise, but it's also a conditioning drill that gets your body into a place where then playing inside of music at higher BPMs starts to become more and more effortless. You know, we condition our bodies to be well more equipped than what we're physically demanded of in the real world. So as a drummer, say you play in a band where you have 200 BPM double bass music and there's a spot where it happens for 20 seconds. I like to live by the five to one rule. So if, if I'm in a band where I need to play double bass at 200 BPMs for 20 seconds, then I really wanna be able to play double bass at 200 BPMs for 100 seconds. Because if I can play it for 100 seconds, then playing it 20 seconds will be a piece of cake. It'll be like nothing. 
So that's the whole main goal of this exercise, to really condition our double bass playing to be so confidently in control, so consistent, so powerful, and so on point in time that there's no issue with us incorporating double bass into real world experiences with songwriting. All right, so let's get into it. Stick around to the end, or just go to the end if you wanna see a bonus exercise that I've added.
All right, so you made it to the bonus exercise. This is a four beat phrase and you just loop it over for as long as you want. This is to help us learn about bass drum spurts. We hear a lot of playing, things like you know, spurts like that where you incorporate 30 second note kick drum hits inside of 16th notes or just any old playing. It's fun stuff, we all love it, but it's not easy. You gotta build that up. So here's a cool little drill for you. 